And if you don't, you can regret after they go, I wish I'd spend more time with so and so. I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. However, I think the most important reason we have been given more difficult emotions is because without them we might not realize we need God. That's good. That's good. Because without these, we wouldn't realize we need God. God, I need you to help me. I need you to strengthen me. I need you to help me overcome this negative emotion. I need you to help me. Most people don't seek the Lord when they, oh, when they help me. Is that true? Not for me. I seek them when I'm going through something. No, no. I'm talking about when you're happy. When they didn't happen. When they, yeah, I still seek them. Right? But here's the catch. Do you seek them as much? Do you seek them as hard? No, I don't know. Ah, okay. Thank you. I'll give you a laugh until another storm comes. But yeah, that, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> that, you, you being honest with your spirit, and that's what all of us, if we be real about it, because as long as things are going well, we don't seek God as much, we don't pray as much, we don't do all those things as much, until some trouble comes our way, and then we'll just go, go home after God in prayer and all those things. But if the rain storm hits you, though, you will keep seeking those things. You just keep thanking Him for bringing you out of me. Because it wasn't for Him bringing you out of you, it would make. Well, watch this. We will for what? And if we really be real about it, if any of us be real about it, we will for a while. But as long as things, after a while things keep going good, we become lethargic or lackadaisical. And all that stuff will go on. And we, 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 we'll kind of just let up and, until another crisis happens. Uh, we, we, you know, well, I'm going good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to still pray. I'm still going to read the Bible. I'm still going to, you know, do it. But I'm not going to be uh, 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 diligent about it like you would. Fervent. fervent. That's the word I want to use. I won't be fervent about it. I won't be a fervent about it as I, as I, uh, I would be if things are going well. Yeah. And that's why God allows some trouble come our way to help us continue going after Him and seeking His face. Yeah. Because, come on, if we all be real. When things are going good and it's been going good for good four or five months, we ain't gonna really pray hard. But you know what helped me though is when well, Sunday school Sunday, and when Sister Teresa kept saying, "Oh God, God, uh, He He knows that you're gonna come out of whatever you're going through," mm -hmm. and He let it Satan, you know. Mm -hmm. But He knows that, that helped me that He knows that I'm gonna come through it, even though when I'm going through it, I don't feel I'm coming through it. But he, I know that at the end he's going to bring me through it when I come through it. Then I say, after hearing that lesson Sunday, I, that he knows what I'm going through. He knows I'm gonna bring, he's going to bring me out. So that kind of gave me a little bit of ease knowing that he let him do it. He couldn't do it on his own, so he can't just keep on tormenting me. Tormenting me, you know. Yeah, in the case of Job, God allowed Satan to do what he did. And because he knew what was in Job. Yeah. And as I said Sunday afternoon, God knows what's in us. And sometimes God got to shake us up because I like use that analogy uh, with the orange juice analogy. You know, the good stuff's at the bottom of the orange juice. And if you don't shake the orange juice up, what's on the bottom won't come to the top. And sometimes God got to shake us up through some trials and troubles and all that stuff. Shake us up and let us know what's in us that will serve us to the top. Yeah. 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 So here's the, here's the deal. They do not automatically ascribe the blessings they receive to his kind of generosity, generous hand. <laughs> it don't automatically happen. It don't automatically happen. It's got, it's, it's, it takes a process. This, this whole thing, letting God uh, allowing God to do what he does. Uh, we got to allow him to do it. We got to want him to do it. Uh, it's not going to come overnight. Because how many of y'all know since we've been reading this book? It's, it's taking some time. 
taking some time for us to get stronger and allow Him to help us. Yeah. It's taking time. It's taking time. Look at this. Rather, it is in the difficult times that the majority of people look to the Father for help. No it says it, it is to Diane. In the difficult times. Yeah. The majority of people look to the Father for help or to help them. Perhaps they have hit rock bottom. <laughs> the painful consequences of their sins overwhelm them. And they real recognize they need his divine deliverance. <laughs> Because when things are going well, again, you are not going to see God. You are not going to go after God. But when things happen negative in your life, you will go after God. Going back to what Mr. Jeffrey read uh, in, in, in Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may find help in a time of need. Let us come, because we need some help. Need some help. Or maybe someone may love, <laughs> someone they love is suffering and there is nothing they can do other than pray. It could even be that a persistent emptiness or uneasiness continually assails their soul so they search for answers, and the answers in Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever the case, the emotional distress gets their attention mm -hmm. <laughs> and drives them to the Lord. Now, i got to stop for a moment. Because they don't always drive a lot of folks to the Lord. Y'all notice that? It should, but it don't. Or it doesn't. If you, if you want to go to the Lord, you'll go to him. But they really don't want to. I, 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 yes, yeah, I would want to because he's the only one who can help me. You know, I wouldn't want to go nowhere else. You know, because I just know <laughs> that he's the one that's going to help me and bring me out. Nobody can not help me. I'm speaking for me. Yeah. Nobody can not help me. Yeah. But See, he, everybody should have that mindset. Because everybody in the church don't have that mindset. If they go through the right thing, can't nobody help them. I'm telling you. Well, some of them are going through it. But they, they, they... Let me say this way. I guess I'll say it this way. They're just spiritually stubborn. Because if, 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 here it is. If they can't handle it, if they can't do it, they, nobody's going to do it. But God it's supposed to be in our lives to handle all of our difficult challenges and problems that we that arise in our lives. And it's our responsibility to allow him to do what he does best is to help us. And that's why I understand that and I keep emphasizing Hebrews 4 and 16. We got to go to him. We can't fix our stuff. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I try to fix my stuff and it don't fit. You know, I couldn't fix it. I made it worse. But after you keep trying to fix it yourself and you ain't getting nowhere, you got to go on to him to get healed, delivered, set free, whatever it is you need. Because nothing and no one can't help you. So why are you just going to keep sitting there, keep on trying to go through it and get tore up? Here's the example. I know some people who keep going through this thing, and, 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 and I'm going to use the wall, for example. They keep bumping their head against the wall, and they, just, they still don't get it. There are some people who just don't get it. They'll keep running that wall, boom, boom, for years, and don't get it. And then, oh, I like this part, thank you, Lord. But then, there's some people who are praying for those persons or that person, and God, they finally come to their senses, or God finally touches their life. Oh, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll use you an example, since you said you. <laughs> now, I'm going to use you. Your mother. Pray for you. I used to pick her up every Sunday. Yeah. Not only you, she prayed for all y'all. Yeah. She would tell me. 
She said, I'm praying for my children that they will get saved. She kept praying. She kept praying. Y'all kept running that wall. She kept telling y'all about Jesus. Am I right about it? I'm doing the same thing with man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Please let me finish. I'm <laughs> glad I found you. No, I didn't finish a minute. Hold on. <laughs> but she, she kept praying and she kept telling y'all about Jesus. She did. About coming to church. She did. And you all you always just kept running back, running that brick wall, hearing her, but not hearing her. But after a while, after she laid down so many years of prayer for you all, you all, by God touching your heart, touching your life, you came in. And God's still working with some of the others who ain't came in yet. So you see what I'm talking about now? All right, now go ahead. What are you saying? <laughs> I said I'm doing that with mine. Exactly. So now I understand. I think about my mother out of ten. My mother was quiet. Yes, she was. She would tell you. Well, she told you about praying for her kids and stuff. But she went through a lot. And it was just between her and the Lord, as I think about now. Because some of the things she went through, she was a strong woman. And I don't know if I could have did it, you know, for her kids and stuff. Though, but, and as I realized now, that just all that time when she was by herself, it was her and the Lord. Her and the Lord. And she was praying for her children, the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, whoever, you know, and, she was, she was just with God all the time, just praying. Yeah. Yes. You know, I, I realize a lot now, though. Yeah. So She's see, a strong woman, though. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Everybody don't come around as easy as he was talking about. Sometimes it takes years for people to come around. And some people don't come around. But I use your mother, for example, because I know she told me. And then when I saw y'all come in, yeah. when at the time, I said, her prayers have been answered. Yeah. 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 I'm almost done, y'all. Ooh, I'm almost done. Before I go any further, are there any, 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 any Yes, talk to me. I was just going to say, because you were talking about that scripture, that verse that says, at the end says, and found grace whenever we need help. Yes. And I was thinking, for Diane to even get to the point where she at, that was the first thing she could realize, that she needed help. Yes. And that's the thing people don't realize that they really need help. And they're not ready to accept it. They, even if you try to give them help, they're not to that point to accept that yet. So it takes God to touch their heart yes. to realize you need help. Yes. Whew. Exactly. And then the other thing you said that just raised in my mind, go back to your mother. She was very patient to wait. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she had to be just patient to deal with all of us, though, for real. Because she had a whole bunch of kids. Yes, yes. Had a whole yeah, bunch of I think with, about that. With, with, all, with all these kids, with all these emotional uh, things going on, grandkids. She was very patient, and 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 and, and Sister Carrie was very calm. Yeah, yeah, she was very calm, and she said, "I'm just praying for him, Brother Ray." That's what she used to, she used to call me, Brother Ray. Brother Ray, I'm just praying for him, and the Lord bring him on in. That sounds like what I say about me. Yeah, yeah. Pray for you. And, and, and see, you you were, and I know you, because you used to live around the corner from me. And, and I, would, I would see Diane, and, 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 and Diane wasn't smiling like she's about to laugh. She, well, she had a smile, but it was, didn't have a smile, it was a smile for another reason. <laughs> <laughs> but see, 